<clears throat> Stand up means to rise, clean space and realize it's funny but it's not. You'll see a reflection of you and me. If there if you were a variety show, it would be. Substitute for actual psychotherapy. Like many adults with childhood trauma, I often felt unlovable and broken. But then I tried Fix Your Partner. Fix Your Partner is a revolutionary way of becoming a parent to the person you're dating so they'll finally love you back. It's a proven long-term strategy for both abusive and unavailable partners. Every time I've tried Fix Your Partner, I've been filled with hope and unrealistic expectations. Fix Your Partner won't actually fix your attachment wounds, but it will amplify them until they get so big you can't ignore them any longer. <laughs> Fix Your Partner can cause major depression, inability to trust yourself, low self-esteem, and unmetabolized rage. Do not seek the advice of a therapist before trying Fix Your Partner. Fix Your Partner has never been less affordable. Don't wait. Give yourself the gift of toxic shame today. If you'd like to order the gift of toxic shame yourself, Fix Your Partner is available for just five easy payments of $19.99. That's right, you too can embrace the wild side of not really ever knowing if your partner's mad at you or not. If being in a relationship where none of your needs are met sounds like fun, order now. Not available in stores or to folks who have done their trauma healing work. We make the recipe so you don't have to with Dr. Ingrid and Dr. Romani. Welcome back to We Make the Recipes So You Don't Have To. I'm Dr. Ingrid, this is Dr. Romani. We have a treat for you today, a real treat. We're going to be making the ever popular, the ever elusive Trauma Bond Smoothie because you have done such extensive research. I feel like you really, you really know the building blocks, mm -hmm. the essentials of what really makes a trauma bond smoothie. So we're gonna have you show us what it's all about today. Yeah, well, I've been mastering the art of the trauma bond smoothie for a long time. Yes. It's a very precise balancing of ingredients and I've spent decades actually really studying the ingredients, going yes. around the world, sourcing the best mm. ones mm. to bring it right here so everybody has a recipe for how to make this. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to create in the trauma bond smoothie yeah. is a beverage, a concoction, mm. so confusing, oh, yeah. yet so seductive that you can't put it down and you just keep going back for more and you're not clear why. So everybody pull up a seat. Listen, I got to know why the butterflies are already starting. I'm getting very excited. Okay, where do we begin? We have to create the base of the smoothie okay. first, right? Mm -hmm. And sense. I'd say a key element mm -hmm. of the base of the smoothie mm -hmm. is attentiveness. Oh yeah. This is somebody who is paying a lot of attention to you. I mean, mm. A lot. a lot. It's a lot. Okay, okay. Great. Now, I can't say enough. Mm -hmm. And in fact, this is one of the bigger ingredients uh -huh. in the smoothie. Oh yeah. So let's just go. You know, I, I like I like a lot of this. Okay. So I think I'm gonna put in a lot of charm. Oh charm great. is a big one in these smoothies. So the more charm the better. Okay. Perfect. Because I think it's a lot more potent when you have mm -hmm. a lot of charm. Mm -hmm. So I would put in a big hunk of charm. Okay. okay, hunk a charm, right? Hunk a charm. As much, you know, as much as you think you want, but you can never have enough charm. I agree. Is how I feel, I right? Agree. I agree. Now, another one, and this is an ingredient people don't even realize. It's sort of an ingredient we overlook, okay. but I think it's critical, is telling you what you've always wanted to hear. This is one of those ingredients that sneaks up on you. Like, what? What is the hint of that that I'm tasting? This oh feels so gosh. familiar. Like your soulmate? Like yes, you've never met anyone exactly. like Exactly. So it feels like a magical oh. ingredient. I do like 
tropical ingredients here, but yes. yeah, it's so, but you, it's almost like a mystery ingredient, but oh, you're like, you feel it as you I drink it. I feel it, it already. Big one, okay? Amazing. Okay. Now, you can't yeah, make a trauma bond smoothie without uh -huh. adoration, okay? <gasps> and I, I know, listen, adoration's a funny thing, because a lot of us never get enough of it in our diet. No. So when it shows up, adoration, so I, you know what, I might put a little bit in there. Kind of makes it stick a little yeah. bit better, mm -hmm. right? So then, listen, charisma, one of those ingredients, some people get or like more of it, yeah. some people don't. Mm -hmm. I think charisma really can really add something to this smoothie. Yeah. So I put in some, but you might want to move that around to taste. Okay. Doesn't charisma's not always a part of these smoothies, but I think it can be a powerful ingredient. Yeah, okay? I agree. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, excitement. Oh. Excitement is oh. a big one. Like, you know, we, I mean, excitement means different things to different people, but I, that's as a result, I, I'll put in a fair amount of it because you just don't know. Okay? So, Who doesn't here, want to feel special? Right? Am I right? But that's that specialness. Yeah. Again, it's something that's often lacking in a lot of the other smoothies out there. It's so So true. some of that specialness, mm. I think you do need a fair bit of this because it does bring it all together. That's right. And then I do like a little bit of a topper on this smoothie. Okay. Okay. Just a top note of thoughtfulness. Oh, yeah. It's just yeah. sort of like a, gives a little zaza zoo to the whole thing. You know that they're really thinking right? about you during the yeah. day. Yeah. And, and your and likes, your dislikes. Your like, and you know, like little gifts. Oh, yes. And that out. Oh. They, they remember something. Like, yes. That's what I'm saying. You can't. Can you throw another in? Yeah. I mean, you know, just for me. <laughs> okay, well, you know a little bit more because that definitely will let, it'll it, stay with you longer. It means so it. much. Yeah. Okay, I so then it. those are really our essential ingredients of this first base part of this smoothie, okay? Wow. Would you like to do the honors? I will. Thank you okay. so much. This is exciting. Okay. All right, are you all ready for this? Whew, here we go. We're in for a ride. To a glass, you can really see mm. what this oh trauma gosh. bond smoothie looks like. Just and honestly, the smell. Oh, like the smell! It really right, engages they your senses. Smell. Like it just look how substantial it wow. is. It just feels like something you could just it could stick with you all day, or maybe even for a lifetime. This is beautiful. Look at that color. Look how attractive. Oh and how could you say no to that? I know. I it's feel just healthier gorgeous. just looking at it. I and, feel more And loved. I'm so and we're attracted to this kind of a oh. color. There's nothing icky or right. unattractive about no. this. So just looking at it, I'm almost like a more worthy love. Right? And and th you think that this will nourish you oh. for the rest of your life because it's got so much good stuff. I mean in the it. nutrients are incredible. Alright, well. All Why don't right. we drink away at this? Okay. Oh boy. I want to see what you think of it. Oh boy, it's so thick with love. I can't it is so thick with love. It's so substantial. That's like, right. You see a future. You could drink oh, this every exactly. day. It's not Maybe even watery. three meals. Three meals a day. That's right. All day long. Okay. Mm. <laughs> a little mustache happening. Mm, that's good. Isn't that good? might like to stick with this one actually mm -hmm. I mean it's fantastic yeah but with a trauma bond mm -hmm. you don't get to just keep this smoothie right well I think that with the trauma bond smoothie it's such a unique kind yes. of a, a such a unique beverage yes it actually you know it's too simple to just have this right That's I mean right. I think what makes the trauma bond smoothie so unique because it's so delicious mm. is that there's another part to this recipe if I may and now a word from our sponsor. Oh my gosh, girl, I'm so bloated. I can't Tell even. You know I was oh. so into, I, oh, I'm so filled with so much. Ugh. It hurts so bad, I can't even breathe. I can't either, it's so it uncomfortable. It sounds like you oh need gosh. boundaries. Wait, what? It's so boundaries. uncomfortable. Hey ladies, have you heard of boundaries? I don't know about bloating, but they sure can fix a lot of other things. Boundaries has the same medicine as prescribed by your psychiatrist, just in non-prescription strength. That's good! Just remember, it's pronounced boundaries. 
Since I picked up boundaries, boundaries. I can speak my feelings honestly. Directly. Even saying no on the spot. Yes! Boundaries is the leading medication towards making sure you have healthy friendships. Now I know where I end and you begin. And I don't resent you for not reading my mind. Oh, such a relief. <laughs> it's so good to see you two getting along again. Aren't boundaries great? Even though I want your approval, I don't feel rejected when you take care of yourself. Boundaries helps with other people's boundaries too. Well, of course it does. Boundaries are a healthy part of a functional relationship. Boundaries is recommended by therapists everywhere. <laughs> Take one tablet with friends and acquaintances, two with family. That part's true. Results will vary if mixed with alcohol. Also that. Get yourself boundaries. Boundaries. You'll be as happy as you can be. We love the boundaries. Hey, don't put your arm on my leg like that. Oh, okay. Look how easy it was. Look at that. <laughs> my feelings aren't hurt. <laughs> I really hate the sound of your voice. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like someone took too many. Yeah. Okay. I still feel just... <laughs> Fine. You don't feel judged. Not at all. I don't really want to hang out. I'm starting to feel like this is taking a weird turn, guys. Deodorant's a thing. I've never worn deodorant. It could help. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me that. <laughs> okay, let's keep things on track here. Remember, it's boundaries and they're important. I've never really liked your cooking. Look at us! I was still in the middle of talking, but that's okay. Clearly your boundaries are in order. I'm not really sure what else you want me to say here. Are you just frolicking in the fields now? Okay, well, boundaries, they're important. Make sure you have them. Well, thanks for watching and order now! The Stand Up Therapy Variety Show is brought to you by Believing Me. Healing from Narcissistic Abuse and Complex Trauma, a memoir by clinical psychologist Ingrid Clayton. And now back to We Make the Recipes! Now, there's this other piece to the smoothie mm -hmm. that I'd like to walk you through okay. next, all right? Yeah. The first ingredient is invalidation okay and you know that's it's it's a very very important part of this smoothie without it i don't think this smoothie really works yeah i have to say though i think probably the best ingredient mm -hmm. in this smoothie mm -hmm. is the gaslighting you know and i can put a fair amount mm -hmm. of gaslighting in there there's a lot of gaslighting in this um that's you know i i I like me some manipulation, yeah. you know, not nearly as much as the gaslighting, mm. but we do need some manipulation, yes. control, gotta have the control. I don't know about you guys yes. watching at home, but with every clunk of the ingredient, all those butterflies that I was feeling are being replaced by just... A pit, mm -hmm. a pit in my stomach. I mean, there is a bit of dread that comes. It's when dread. See this, Thank you. This, That's this, the word. This smoothie come together. <gasps> These are essential ingredients in this. So you know, an, 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 a very popular ingredient, and one that I really, you know, felt like over the years became. We forget what a key ingredient this is. The smoothie doesn't work without it. Just some passive aggression. Oh, you gotta have that. You know, things like. You know, and in fact, going along with passive aggression to really bring that flavor out yeah. is a silent treatment. Oh. You know, the silent treatment is that ingredient people forget to put in there yeah, or they forget right. it's part of the smoothie. Mm, mm. And then they're like, what am I missing here? Mm. It's there. Yeah. And, and people don't even know it's part of the smoothie. The other name for that is my childhood, that, that ingredient there that we just... Right, yeah. right. And I think a lot of people will probably add a sprinkle of their childhood into uh. this to make this part of the smoothie tailored just to them. And it's a the bespoke. familiarity, would you say? Yes, yes. the customization. It's the customization of the smoothie. Okay. That's what I love about mm. this smoothie. You can so customize it using childhood ingredients. That's right. You know, ingredients you've sourced from other relationships. It's really great that you, how you can make this very much your own smoothie. So it doesn't 
dictate the same for, for everyone. everyone. That's genius. So then there's reach. Okay. Oh, I now need to stand back. I, I should be. I listen. Ooh. You go. The, the rage adds a sort of a peppery flair. It does. But it's just it makes it unforgettable. And you know, it's um, it's just you're you're wide eyed as you see this part of this mm. movie. The rage though can't have can't have go without and that. I'm so disconnected from my own rage. It's almost like this is a safe way for me to oh, be yeah. close to it. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. I, I love how you that. see it that mm -hmm. way because yeah. it is like it is being able to say, oh, I can't have an emotion, but right. I must be having emotions because they're all in here. That's right. That's you right. See? So it becomes like an, mm. a, a cut off from your emotion delivery device. Very clever element it's of this so movie. It's so brilliant. I just whoever came up with this is amazing. Then there's minimization of your feelings. It's a, it's, it, that's a, you know, I think again, it happens alongside the gaslighting. So I think those two ingredients sort of they play off together. each other. That's right. Now here's the critical top notes. Here, okay. All right. I do like a fair amount of contempt because oh, the yes. contempt is a big part of this, right? Wow. That kind of literal disgust you bring disgust. out in them, and then. Although this takes many forms, I happen to use it in this form. Yeah. It's the betrayal. And I like me a lot of betrayal in okay. this movie. Who doesn't? Okay? I mean, because I think betrayal can be a lot of things. Yeah. It's not just somebody cheating on That's you right. mm -hmm. or lying to you, but it's a parent mm -hmm. completely turning their back on you mm -hmm. when you need them. Mm -hmm. It's that sort of parental abandonment of your mm -hmm. emotions. Mm -hmm. That's betrayal. Using your vulnerability mm -hmm. against you. Yeah. Yep. Your deepest, darkest truth. So, Ingrid, you did a, such a nice job of mixing oh, it up before. I'm nervous, but so okay, I'm going to do it. you want to push the button on I this? do. I okay. do. This has never happened on this show, ladies and gentlemen. It literally broke our blender, okay? That's how powerful this concoction is. We almost have to spoon this puppy out. I think so. Right? I think so, yeah. Okay, yeah. so. So let's. Uh, two more fresh glasses. I'm good. Oh, I'm going to have Oh, some. you are? So, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, I've been having this for years. Ah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I've had this so many times now, I feel like I'm probably like immune to it. I mean, I know better. It's not. You but know. it seems like you're drawn to trying it. I am. Okay. I am. Yeah, I'd like mm -hmm. to. I get, you know, definitely brings out the flavor in the other one. I got to tell you, Ingrid, the thing I recommend, it's, it's a pairing. I it's know. It's a pairing, definitely. So you don't you drink know the how one. good something is until you yeah, try something so, so Try different. the one. Okay. It's thick. You thought that one was thick and stuck with you. Wait till you okay, try can you this see one. That's this color cool. here? It's like wow, mm. yeah. The right. consistency—it's almost like it. It's like sharp. It almost lets you know that yeah. it's not really edible, but you know it is. All right, so I'm gonna just take a little. I mean, I might be having a flashback right now, but I'm gonna take some deep breaths, and I'm just gonna go for it. Hey, it's Body. Is Mind available? Oh, no? Alright, I'll try again later. Thanks. Hey, it's your Body. Trying to reach you. Call me back when you get this message, okay? Thanks. You are the next caller. You are the next caller. I am out for a run. Leave a hey. message after the beep. Yeah, I'll hold. Oh, come on. on! What would help right now? I mean, if you gave me this first, I would have run mm -hmm. out of here so fast. You want some of the... I really... Stuff? I really do. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Well, let's see how that oh. for you. Oh my gosh, I gotta wash it down. Oh, how's that taste? Honestly, again, it's the contrast. Like... If I thought this tasted good before, mm. yeah, <laughs> it tastes so much better now. I mean, I almost feel more lovable and worthy now <sighs> having tasted that and getting this again. Mm. What do you think made that taste so unpleasant to you? Well, I mean, I think it might have been the way that I used the spoon to... Uh, drink it like if I had drank it just normally I mm -hmm. think maybe it would have 
tasted better. I mean, I think it must have been something that I did. Oh, oh. So you think you think you're responsible? You're, so you're blaming yourself for why this? Well, I mean, I don't want to work. say blame necessarily. I mean, I think it could also be that you know me. We when we go out, I'm like a eight year old child uh, mm. with the menu. I like very simple things. Mm-hmm. I don't really like nutritious things. Mm. Like healthy food does mm. not taste good to me. Mm. And so sometimes I think that you know maybe. Maybe I need to, this is for my own good. Two hours later. You know, it's probably better for me than mm-hmm. I realize. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, but you know, I'd like to go ahead and have this one. Okay. Um, All right. Well, I mean, it's more. tasty, right? It's just, mm-hmm. I get the draw. Yeah. It's a lot of good, healthy, healthy, mm. good stuff in there. I mean, sometimes a little bit too much of a good thing, but I get why it mm. tastes so good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't order it just this way. It, it, it's a, it's a but thing. what if I, what if I convince the smoothie maker that I, you know, I I just deserve this. I don't have to do them all together. Yeah, I, that's not how the smoothies. Made. There's no such there's no such thing as this oh. without this. Like that's how they come. They're a set. Oh, you have to have both. Right. So if I want another sip of this, I have to have another sip of that. Oh, at least, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. And in fact, I until you have another sip of that, this oh. isn't coming back. So oh. if you are interested in this, and I totally want to bring this back to you, uh-huh. I really do. Uh-huh. I do think taking in some of that is important too, because it just, it doesn't But it doesn't now, th- now that I've had that, I don't, I don't want to live without it. Oh, I, yeah, no, I absolutely get that. I get that, but th- th- this works, this whole, this whole trauma-bonded smoothie, it's a recipe. Yeah. You know, like you've had, pizza before right mm-hmm. like you, mm-hmm. somebody doesn't like give you a bag of cheese and a bag of sauce and a bag of bread like it, it comes together okay yeah so mm-hmm. I, I think it, it's a set so you really want this again it's gonna need to be a little bit of this that, that's just how it works okay I mean how much do I have to tolerate of it in order to get the other thing I mean why don't you, why don't you feel, feel that out for yourself because oh. you know after you, it's so amazing though, Ingrid. Yeah. After a while, you get used to it. Mm. That's what's so great about the trauma bond smoothie. Okay. It's part of it. it just it just becomes. It starts to feel real familiar after a while. And so it also maybe just like confuses your taste buds, so you don't even like. It confuses them for sure, and you just you're like you know after a while you're like I I, I don't just don't even know what class I'm picking up anymore. Right. Like it does it definitely confuses it, but that kind of makes it all the more alluring and interesting. You're forever trying to figure out. Like what makes this smoothie so seductive? Yeah. And so, like I said, keep trying that. You're okay. gonna get used to it, Ingrid. Okay. You really are. Well, I don't know if it's the plugging of my nose or having so recently had that, but mm, yeah, I do sort of feel the combo platter in my mouth. You see, it which kind of helpful. works. That's yeah. why this is a unique recipe. I, got, I don't mm. want anyone to think you're making a trauma-bonded smoothie if you're just putting together the charm and the charisma and adoration. That yeah. isn't a trauma-bonded smoothie. That's I don't even right. know what that is. That's just basic stuff. Right. The nuance of the mm. trauma-bonded smoothie. You do need a unique, again, unique Ooh. experience. And do I get to have one again? Uh, you know, I think you might, I mean... It seems like you're getting used to this, Ingrid, so... I mean, I going. guess I am. Yeah, you okay, are. that's true. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you've learned some... It sounds like you've learned some strategies for how to eat this and... Well, you know what it consume. reminds me of? It is that sort of nostalgic feeling. Yeah. So tell me how you feel afterwards, but right now you can, and that's great. Yeah. That's what makes this smoothie work. Okay. See, you're doing mm-hmm. better with it. Mm-hmm. Like, you know... You're managing that passive aggression. You're managing that rage and gaslighting. Like, it, it, it starts going down after a while. Well, I mean, it's going down and pushing my own anger down. I oh, mean, I almost okay. feel well, just, like, numb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sort of like I don't even exist. It's this weird, like, mm-hmm. <laughs> almost like I don't exist unless that reanimates me somehow. Mm. Yeah, well, maybe we'll <sighs> try a little of this, because that's definitely, you know, it, it sounds like that's beginning to wear on you a little bit. Mm. I can see that. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. See if we can get you oh. back into the smoothie with this. Okay. You know? mm. Yeah. Whew. 
feel like a person again. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> well then, you know, again, it's a two-piece smoothie. Oh. Well, okay. Nuts. That's enough. Okay? Why don't you try that? Like, again, I am trying to give you a trauma-bonded smoothie, mm -hmm. Ingrid. There's two parts to this. Okay. I mean, I, I actually think it's a little bit entitled to think you could just have this one. But I feel like other people mm, can yeah. maybe have it. It's, it's amazing to me how many people think they can just have this part of it. Right. Because it's a trauma bonded smoothie. Yeah. I mean, you got to, you, the whole thing you got to do to have just that, just the healthy relationship smoothie, mm. please. I'm feeling some sadness right now. Mm, yeah. But you know what's amazing is over time you're going to be able to drink more and more of this yeah. each time. Like I think it's it's a funny thing that sneaks up on you. Yeah. That each time you're able to actually drink like half the glass. Wow. And now it doesn't feel good. And yes, you're having to abandon yourself and give up on your sense of autonomy to hold it down. But it's amazing how naturally that starts coming for you. Yeah. And I mean, like I think we're sort of... You don't need as much of this then. You know, that, that, that's actually, those are cheaper ingredients. Yeah. So, you, you know, this is this, this, is this stuff. Yeah. It's harder to sometimes that's find, but that's cheaper. right there, yeah. And so you could keep more of this in the house. There's a part of me that really thinks that I would not be who I am today mm. without so many glasses of this. Oh, okay. Well. It, it really brings out my resilience and my creativity mm. and my resourcefulness. I mean, I almost feel like I owe everything to this. Okay, well, I mean, it's, it's it, a smoothie. You, you, you're, you are saying that your sense of self came from just part of this trauma bond. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, you're giving it a lot of credit. I mean, I guess this was a lot smaller, so. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't really know the goodness of mm -hmm. that if it wasn't for this. You don't think so? You think you just wouldn't taste good without that? Uh, I mean, it I certainly mean, it helps. might taste it helps. good, but it wouldn't taste extraordinary. Mm, yeah. It yeah. wouldn't taste mm -hmm. like the best thing you've ever mm -hmm. tasted. So it sounds like it's the, there's something almost magical in this. Yeah. Even though you almost spit it out, it feels magical. Well, again, like you said... <laughs> You know, what's interesting, Ingrid, is like now, you know, I think where this, where sort of the, the, the beauty of this smoothie is, yeah. is that, you know, we've been doing it in two glasses, but mm. really, really, how to experience this, because, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't belong so separate, That's is right. that we're going to pour, and this is really how it goes, Yeah, we pour all of this, the, the, the healthy, you know, the, all of this first part, yes. you know, the adoration and the attentiveness and the specialness. Mm -hmm. We put that in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You put them both in, right? Yeah. And so the, the key, though, to the trauma bond smoothie yeah. is all the ingredients go together. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, these things aren't separate, right? And so oh, pretty sure. Just, okay. All right. Yeah, that's how they, they go together. I mean, okay. it's a smoothie. What are you, you going to carry two glasses around? Yeah. That seems a little bit. Okay. That seems like a, a lot, right, <laughs> to be carrying two glasses. Let me just... Mix this around, we'll make sure we get all of this oh, in yeah, here. Good chunk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we gotta get this. Like, look at that. Some oh. rage and passive aggression. Yes. Ooh. Oh, there's that. Oh, I love that. You know, the, the fresh contempt. Oh, when that flavor fresh. goes, you know, but when it's fresh like that, oh, the contempt. Oh, 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 I see a big chunk of betrayal in there. I'm yeah. gonna get that in yeah. one piece. Oh, okay, so look, look at that. that. Look at that. Do you see? Because yes. it all. Oh, give me one. I don't a little think little I quite got a little gas. Uh, the okay. pieces. Okay, there's a little bit of gaslighting, and now you know what? I feel like I'm leaving a lot of gaslighting at the bottom of this uh, blender. Let's get all the gaslighting in here. And, oh yeah, manipulation often sticks to the bottom too. Oh, okay. Yeah. So let's get you guys all in there. Great. Wow. So see, you know, I think this though. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Look at attentiveness and charm mm -hmm. right there the with gaslighting and manipulation yeah you got rage yes. sitting right next to feeling special that's amazing amazing it's amazing not boring at all how who all the flavors yes yes all I, I think that you know this uh, healthy relationship that's the basic smoothie it's like that's vanilla. Just food it's like just vanilla but pudding. this elegance this. of passive aggressive and yes. contempt uh, mixing, it's mixing with the specialness and the adoration. Can you all see this at home. It's almost the that. longer that these ingredients get to mingle together, 
the more stunning it becomes. Yeah, I mean, and who could put that down? I'd almost want to freeze that and put that up on a shelf in my house because I think right. it looks so pretty. It's incredible. Yeah, well, that's like a work of art. Is there anything, anything else you want to share about your travels and what you've discovered mm -hmm. about this trauma bond for the makers at home? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think that this trauma bond smoothie recipe comes, like I said, after having had the privilege of talking to many, many other people who mm -hmm. had their own trauma bond smoothies that they were drinking. Yeah. Sometimes, strangely, since the day they were born, mm -hmm. some for years as adults, yeah. um, some people were thinking like, I didn't even know, like I couldn't understand why no other smoothie. They're like, I'd go and get the healthy smoothies. Right. Like some people got this one right. and they're like, why isn't this as satisfying, right? So you brought that up earlier. Yes. Like, when in your travels, like one Boring. thing I've learned is they're like, yeah, sure. Yeah. And they'd have, they'd still find that the smoothie they stuck with was the one that had some of this other stuff and they couldn't explain it to themselves. Yeah. They're saying, I know this is better for me, yeah. but whatever is drawing me here, mm. I have to believe it's gotta be something about me, it's gotta be something about my taste buds, it's gotta be something like that and say, mm -hmm. this does feel more familiar, yeah. right? Almost like a holiday recipe that your family makes it a certain way and you're just drawn to that even though it's kind of like not always the best way to do it. So mm. I found that, you know, again, these ingredients vary. Some people right. have almost no charisma ah. in their smoothie mm -hmm. and peop some people have like a double scoop. For some folks, that sense of specialness, they'll say, I only use a little bit in there because it only lasted for a little while. Okay. And then, you know, some for some people, they have a lot more rage in the smoothie than the passive aggression. Like it's it, the ingredients are different. Like I said, this is an interesting and very customized smoothie. Yes. Everyone's a little bit different, but what we do know is either by itself. This mm. a lot of people find that the the back end of the smoothie yeah. is not very palatable. Mm -hmm. Some people find that the the front end, the base of the smoothie is like it's like a little bit cloying. Right. But there's something that when you put them together, there you sure can't put is. this down. Yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm just gonna take this back to my dressing room and um, I'm not gonna drink it or anything, but I'm just gonna yeah hold on to it. Mm -hmm. um, maybe for later and um, I thank you again. Oh, I mean, this is incredible pleasure. and you know you never know what we're gonna make mm -hmm. next but it's all for you and this is all for me and <laughs> you know Ingrid this was so fun I so loved this amazing with you, you know thank you. taking this and turning it into such a relatable kind of a concept you know and it's still I felt the sadness in me because you know, everything we talked about, you know, these healthy ingredients, all these fruits we have in front of us, that even when people have access to just this, that familiarity and that, um, that etching, as it were, that happens historically, can mean that without that mix, That's people right. can't drink it. And, and even if oh, they only drink the passive aggression and the rage, nobody ever thinks that's good. This isn't about people saying, I want someone to treat me badly. It's no. not that. Mm -mm. And when only they drink that, it's like, ugh, and okay, I guess I could get used to this, but maybe it's my fault it tastes like this. That's right. right? Mm -hmm. And then want to go back to that. But when you mix the two, yeah. it's this thing that almost becomes something that they do play off each other. This behavioral concept of psychology is the way slot machine works, right? That's the intermittent right. reinforcement. Mm -hmm. And so if something is rewarding sometimes, and you don't know when it's going to be rewarding, mm -hmm. it, it hooks us like nothing else. If the slot machine paid out at every fifth pull, it wouldn't be very fun. That's right. Or if it gave you a dollar back for every dollar you put in, that's not fun. Mm -hmm. But the idea that you could get the jackpot or that a, a, a decent payout is coming yes. keeps people in the game. And as you are gulping your, mm. sm your smoothie, that sense of those moments of the, the healthy stuff coming out stronger was enough to rationalize that away. And that of course takes us to concepts like cognitive dissonance. We make the pieces fit to reduce the tension. That's right. And that's what happens in the trauma bond smoothie. Mm. So I mean, this in no way is no, at all meant to make light of what people are no. going through, but I think seeing it this way and the way that we would never ever dream of putting something noxious in our body, ever, right, right. right? Something that makes us want to spit it out. We're like, ew, I don't want to drink this. Mm. Yet, when we're in these trauma bonded relationships, we are ingesting something noxious every time we're in their presence. That's right. And the fact is, even when we think about the relationship. That's right. And there's no getting one without the other. Correct. And the feeling that you can have even just a little bit of this is so powerful 
because it is your sense of self in a glass, as it were, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. what will tolerate to get there, particularly if this is what you were mm -hmm. raised with. And I think that one thing to keep in mind is that if you've been being served this since you were a child, yes, this is, I mean, like you did, you started walking That's off right. Yeah. yeah. Even if your first encounter with this smoothie is in adulthood, mm -hmm. make no mistake, even if rationally you say, mm, I know this isn't great for me, like, but I don't know the mix of flavors. And sometimes it's easy to say, I think I've locked on to the most magical smoothie That's right. there is, or the most magical experience that there is. And so I think that for people to understand that this is a universal experience. And I think a lot of folks who are trauma bonded walk around and label themselves as codependent mm -hmm. or a doormat mm -hmm. or weak or needy. None of those things are true. Right. The way this plays out in the psyche, in the brain, plays out similarly for anyone who's in one of these relationships. But let me tell you this right now, Ingrid. Yeah. Once you really know mm -hmm. what's in each of these two smoothies, mm -hmm. and you really know how they affect you, mm -hmm. you, and you realize that there's a world mm -hmm. in which you can say, mm -hmm. no thanks. That's right. That you have that in you. Mm. That's the day the trauma bond smoothie market is going out of business. That's right. <laughs> I love that because all of these ingredients are found within self. Correct. And we have the capacity to harness them and not look to anybody else mm -hmm. in anyone's glass, mm -hmm. no matter how it's served up, uh, in order to own it. And so that is a powerful piece of it where we can break the bond. Mm -hmm. And I can joke all day long, uh, only out of personal experience, that this is where I come from, right? Like, it wasn't served in such a fancy glass either. Um, but it was what I knew and it was so much what I knew that it, it's the water that we swim You just don't even know the difference um, And so that's the point of highlighting it even visually is to see the difference to start to Bring awareness to the fact that oh gosh, I think I am digesting something that doesn't feel mm -hmm. good to me It doesn't seem right. I'm lying to myself. I'm lying to other people. I'm making myself wrong, I'm filled with toxic shame, hmm, it's an indicator. Yeah. Maybe something like this is going on. You said mine didn't come in such a beautiful picture. Yeah. But a lot of people's do. That's right. There are many people where the trauma bond smoothie in their family mm. might have been served in they had it more than enough of anything. They had parents who took them on vacations. Yeah. They felt like they were in something special, but yet when they had a single emotional need, they were rejected or mocked. So I think the challenge is, mm -hmm. sometimes it comes in a beautiful picture, mm -hmm. sometimes it comes in a rusty cup, mm -hmm. no matter what, until you understand it. It's very, very seductive, but all of us are seduced by this smoothie. That's right. Until we understand it. So a universal recipe mm -hmm. that once you understand how the sausage is made, or in this case, how the smoothie <laughs> is made, <laughs> you may not want to eat it or drink it anymore. That's right. Thank you so much, Romani. This was amazing. Thank you so much. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed the recipe. Yeah. <laughs> or not. Or not. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you for watching Stand Up Therapy. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can stay tuned for even more content.